So I'd have to say that the Double O Quanta is up there with some of my favorite mobile suits. So I definitely was all in for the Shia Quanta when it was uh, released in the Bill Fighter's Island War OVA. It's the Double O Quanta, but it's catified a bit. Like, it's got cat ears. That's really the only thing. I kind of wish they went a little more into it. Because Shia decided to give it cat ears. Fair enough, but it just... It, that's it. I would have liked maybe a tail or something. Also, the green color doesn't really work for a cat, but I guess she just wanted the ears because her hoodie has ears. She wanted them to match. But I do like the colors. I like the green. It's really cool. And how they went for a little darker green with the stomach and the feet. And even added more yellow. Like, the double O Quanta only had yellow in the collar, you know, I think. But they added the chin and even in the cockpit, which, you know, isn't a cockpit now because it's just a model. No one's actually inside it. And it gets a few new pieces besides those cat ears. The face plate's completely different. The chin, the, the chins, the uh, shoulder armor is symmetrical this time. And then you've got, they actually, they didn't remove the basket, they just added to it. So you've still got the normal one. And then you've got these weird, I'm going to assume binders on the back that are akin to the aerial or the aerials akin to it, since it came up first. And then you got some ni nice little more detailed knee armor. And of course the shoulder shield, or backpack shield. I mean, it is on the backpack. It just looks like it's on the shoulder. Obviously it's not. But they really, the, the middle section, the main section is identical to the original, but it's all the uh, sword bits that it has that they've changed. And the middle piece here, which ha still has a little, little flap here, which I think this flap is from the shoulder armor on the one shoulder of the original Double Quanta, but they decided to incorporate it here so you can see another condenser piece. But it just looks weird because it doesn't conform properly to the design. It should be more rounded. I don't know why they just didn't design this middle um, piece or like the outside piece to match the middle one. Whatever. But it does open up and it reveals the uh, second GM drive inside the shield. And then you've got these big, kind of like, they look like the Transient Gundam's, uh, the Lance that it has. It has two lances. And it definitely has that kind of feature, but they're just remote controlled. It's cool. I guess I could do like a pincer attack. And they hold very nice on these little new hinges that it has. And then you have these, which they don't hold as nicely as I'd like them to on here on these pegs, even though like you can't squeeze them any tighter. And these hinge, I really wish they hinge straight, like just instead of having this little angle. It annoys me. Other people might not. I don't know. I'm sure if I read it on the wiki, it would tell me everything I want to know. But I'm just going to go with, I assume they, uh, these wings, when it can combine into the back, like the two GN drives connect together like it did in the uh, Double O movie. And then these would probably like spread out to be more like wings or like more stabilizers. And then these could come out too. But that's the only thing I can think of why they're designed like that, because like what other reason would there be? But I'm assuming they're also, uh, you know, normal sword bits. They can pop off and fly around and stab. So it's definitely got like more unique uh, range weapons compared to the normal double O Quanta. And then you have its sword, which is, well, the middle section is the double O Quanta, and then everything else is new. But I really wish it still had a gun mode because it still it has the handle, but like you can't do anything with it. And so all it does is kind of make it harder to get into the hand because if it moves too close to the handguard, then you gotta like fight with it. And probably the hand cover is going to pop off and you have to find that and yeah, kind of annoying. And for being a kit that's, oh boy, it's getting close to, is it 15 years? It's getting close to 15 years old, I think. Um, it's still good. Like double O is when the articulation started going crazy for models. Like they weren't just generic um, cookie cutter. Like the models didn't assemble the same way. They tried to be unique for most of the like different mobile suits. And this is still based a lot on the double O riser, like the legs at least, and the arms. And so it still benefits from the insane posability that thing still has to this day. It's crazy what the double O uh, high grade can do. So this one definitely benefits from that. So I do like it, which is why I decided to buy more. I found two knockoffs from a weird site called Superbuy. Um, it's interesting to buy off of. But the first one is nice light blue. 
And I like that they um, they kind of transferred the darker color palette into this one too, like the dark blue where the dark green was and on the feet and the stomach. So that's nice. But everything else is this nice light blue. There are no differences in terms of what it has. Like there's no more detail that I can find. It's like nothing's added to it. Aside, I should should uh, correct that. You get water slide decals, which I'm assuming is more for the real grade. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure it'll work fine the high grade, but hey, water slide decals are nice. And posability is exactly the same. And all the joints are still about as good as the official. I don't have any problems. And everything here is pretty tight too. Like this is a good, you wouldn't, if I didn't know it was a knockoff, I would say it's official. And then we have the sword, same, just in blue. And if anything, this tinge is actually tighter, so it, it's a little harder for it to move and uh, get in the way. So that's good. But I got one more, and unfortunately, this is where the luck ran out. The pink one. I like it. I do like the pink. It's cool. Pink and blue work really nicely together. I would have liked them to change the color of the condensers. Unfortunately, they didn't. Um, but it would have been nice. Now, they did change the color palette, like the arrangement of colors a little bit where the other one had the darker colors and the stomach and the feet. These look like the same color pink to me. I don't see any difference in the stomach or the feet. Although I did use a lighter color pink in the cockpit area and the chin, where uh, the blue one also used a lighter color uh, for those parts. And you still get the same water slide decals, ad identical. It's mostly... Okay, it's not just the polycaps. Um, there was a malformed piece, and which foot? It's this foot right here. The uh, side of the ankle, if you notice the official one. Actually, I'll just, you know what? I'll just take it off. It'll be a lot easier. Another person's going to fall off in the, on the way. But you can see this one has like the curved part here for the ankle. This one, it's missing a piece. And in fact, the ball joint is malformed too. Thankfully, it still goes in and works perfectly fine. This works just like the other one, but it just looks kind of weird. So I was—I don't know why I did it, but I'm gonna instead of having the outside, I'm gonna have it on the inside. Harder to see, and the fact that the out, the other part is gray, it doesn't really show off that much. So, if any part was gonna be a problem, I'd rather it be uh, more cosmetic. And like I said, the ball joint malform doesn't seem to affect it, but the polycaps. For some reason, some of the polycasts on this kit are not that good. Uh, the stomach, not that good. The waist one was okay, but this this one here in particular, I can tell it doesn't look quite right. It has issues, and the, the torso falls off way too easily. And then there's the one here that connects to the backpack plank. I even tried gluing it. Apparently, polycaps and glue do not work well together. I never really did that before. And for some reason... The blue one's fine, but the green one, and you're missing a cover on your hand. I guess I should have glued that on. Well, hopefully I can find it and then glue it on. Try not to get too much on the clear, though. But yeah, that one's okay. Huh. But like I was saying, this part here, this blade, the other one's fine, but they like to pop off on the uh, on the on the official one too. But more on, more on the pink one. So I guess the polycaps were not that good on the pink. But besides that part and that part, they, it seems to be close to the same, and of course the malformed ankle piece. But I don't regret buying it because I really like these colors. I want to have, I want to have a Power Ranger team of Shia Quantas. That is my plan. I'm not going to include the normal Double O Quanta in this because it just doesn't seem right. I want them to all have the same design, and I know there's two more out there which I think even have red condensers, and I want to find them. They were on Superbuy's website, and unfortunately I couldn't buy them because you had to buy, I think it was 38 to have them shipped in bulk. They won't let you buy one. They won't let you buy two or 10. It had to be like 38. So someday I'm going to get those two. It was like, I think, uh, a dark red and I want to say orange. That would be nice, and I'm hoping to get them. They're just fun to have. I like the double quantum and I would like to share quantum.